Hey YouTube, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. It's kind of fitting that I already had this review plans uh, when I learned the news of James Jagger's passing away. James Jagger was a huge fan of the XS sights. He preached about them. Uh, when I went and took Fighting Pistol, he showed them to me. I shot a few of his uh, pistols with them on there and he was like, man, you have to get these sights. And I upgraded my wife's Glock 43 to them. Uh, but I think it's kind of fitting that I already had this planned out and then we learned recently of the news that he passed away. Uh, due to ALS, uh, but James Jagger was a super nice guy to me. Um, not to go down a rabbit hole, but super nice guy to me, um, and I, I appreciate everything he did for me. I know a lot of you probably have upgraded to the XS sights on your pistol. They make a big dot version, which is a huge front sight. So when I got the XS sights in, the first rifle, I was like, all right, which one do I want to put them on? So I went and grabbed one of my rifles, uh, the primary arms ones. I was like, all right, cool, let's put on this one. It has a Holosun optic on it, red dot, no magnification on there. Put it on, I was like, oh, sweet, nice, boom, boom, boom. Took a picture on a post on Instagram. One of you guys was like, hey, you don't have to run offset sights if you're not running magnification. And I was like, true story. So I took them back off of that rifle and then put them on another rifle. The rifle I chose to put them on is the LWRC. It's running an ACOG 3X magnification with a Trigicon RMR on here. And then, so I was like, sweet, this has magnification. I can run the offset sights on this one. These were super easy to mount, put them on the rail, remember Loctite. And then there are offset, but you still have room for a flashlight if you want to run a flashlight on this side over here. So the XS Big Dot sights are designed to go in the front here, kind of more like that pistol distance range here. They're not designed for this one to be back here. When you do it, it gets really blurry and doesn't look good. Trust me, I tried it. My opinion, take it for what it's worth, you're not going to get a real long shot with these sights. These are designed for three gun competition, so you're running a magnified object, and then all of a sudden you got a switch real close to a short target. That's what this is designed for. So you're not going to shoot 100 yards iron sights with these. If you're looking for that, probably look for something different. Uh, but if you're looking for a three gun competition sight, this is what you're looking for. So this rifle has an ACOG on it, which is a 3X magnification, and then has an RMR on attach of it here. So if I'm down on it, I've got my 3X magnification and I'm good. If I needed to rotate, it really is just right there. Like I don't have to move my cheek weld. It's there. So I'm on target, on target. So I'm okay with that. Like I, I like it. I don't have to move my cheek there. I can pull in over there. I'm on target. I'm on target. But this particular optic though, with that RMR being put on top, so if I am a little bit, like it sits up a little bit higher. It's one of the things I wasn't super crazy about this optic is that now I'm up here. I can see the red dot. If I want to get the three X, I move down. So I'm up here, I'm on. So now I do have to move my cheek well for this particular optic. So now, so if I have the red dot on, my cheek has to sit a little bit higher for this red dot and I rotate over, I do have to kind of move the gun up just a little bit to get it right back on target. The sight picture you're looking for is kind of that lollipop picture. So you have a line coming up and then the bright orange ball on top. So that kind of gives you that lollipop appearance. I think due to YouTube's rules and regulations, so I don't get kicked off YouTube. I can't put a link down to the XS Sights website. I think I may get in trouble, so I don't want to mess with that. So just Google XS Sights, their website will pop up. I appreciate them sending the sites to me. Looking forward to shooting them some more, but so far I'm a big fan. So thank you guys for watching. You never know when you'll be the first responder. Remember needing the right gear and the right training.